Hey guys, this is Jamie, Jamie's Garage. I'm at my shop, Elite Motor Works in Sarasota. We're gonna find out what's going on with this Bentley right here. Okay, so this is a 2010 Bentley Continental GT Speed. Absolute beautiful car. Customers complaining of a check engine light. So we're gonna scan it, find out what's going on, and we'll just kind of take you guys through the process. By the way, this is not my normal, like highly edited videos. I'm just kind of taking you guys around the shop, just kind of give you an inside look. Let me know what you guys think of this kind of format of video, appreciate it. All right, we're gonna start this car and take a look. It's got 63,000 miles and the check engine light is right here. Look how clever Bentley is with their little hood pop open thingy. Okay, we got Steven diagnosing this car. We've got a vacuum leak, uh, system two lean bank idle, at least we're assuming it's a vacuum leak, pop this cover off. And we notice a little bit of electrical tape wrapped around here like somebody might have already tried to fix this. So we're gonna do a smoke test and find out exactly where it's leaking from. All right, while Steven's getting this ready for smoke testing, let's go around the shop and see what else is going on. Joey's over here working on the uh, R32. This is an R32 specialist right here. If you guys have an R32, this guy will work on it all day. He loves these cars. Loves them. Bring all of them. Listen, I ain't certified in nothing. I am definitely not certified to work on this race. <laughs> You don't like these? This? Dude, this thing's awesome. No. <laughs> Name one awesome attribute. This is a great car. Great little car. Uh, yeah. For somebody else, not me. <laughs> okay, good so vibes. good vibes, that's right. But what kind of cars do you like to work on? I'm a Mercedes guy. Mercedes? Mercedes. No. Big Mercedes guy over here. Likes the Mercedes. Not the Volkswagens. Not the Volkswagen. Just a different German. A different German. We got another Volkswagen Garrett's working on. What are you doing? On, what are you doing, bud? Checking brakes. Brake inspection. Oh, yeah. Get some pictures for the customer. How are they looking? Good. Yeah, they look great, actually. They look, they look great. Just in case you couldn't hear that. All these fronts don't look too great. Do the they? rotors look like you got pad slap. Yeah, the rotors pretty, pretty funky, but the pads. All right, so somebody probably did a pat. Let me see your light. Oh, there we go. There. Yeah. Just slap some pads on it. You don't need brake rotors. Next up, oil change on this bad boy right here. Oil change alignment, tire rotation. Here's some of the issues we have to deal with sometimes. So we ordered this high pressure fuel pump for a 991 Carrera and it shows up and oops, the ear's broken off. So now they got to send us another one. We asked them to send it back and they said, no, nope, just throw it away. <laughs> I guess uh, FedEx is reimbursing them and we're getting another pump. It's stuff like this that drives me crazy because we want to get the car out for the customer and due to a fault outside of ours, something breaks and we want to do what's right by the customer. So now we're going to be waiting another couple of days for a part. All right, Steven pulled out the inner fender liner, and the reason is because the vacuum pump is located right here along with the reservoir, and this line right here comes off the vacuum pump. So we're gonna tee in here and then push the smoke through the system, and then we'll be able to uh, pinpoint where the smoke's coming from, which will reveal the leak. What time is it? Just the right time for a smoke test. So basically, we've got a smoker right here that hooks up to this battery. It gives it power, it heats up the liquid that's inside of it. We've got air running through it, which pushes it out. I don't know if you guys can see the smoke there. All right, so then he's gonna hook it up. And then we start looking around to see where that smoke is coming out of. Oh, what do we got? Peeling back the layers of the onion right there. <laughs> I'd say it's a little bit of a crack. Can you see it from your side? You can probably feel it. Yeah, that's not good. I'm guessing this, this side over here is going to be the same way. Yeah, you can see the impression of the tape, the big crack right there. You know, from this side, you can see the impression of it. Oh, yeah, look at that. She bad. Okay, so obviously we found the leak. The next question is. Once we fix that leak, is there gonna be another one? I'm gonna buy lunch today, guys. Are you doing tacos? 
It's Joey's birthday today. Why are you eating? We're getting ready to have lunch. I'm getting ready to buy you. I'm getting ready to buy your lunch. What'd you say? Uh, how about five guys? I can see you having five guys in your mouth. All right, so you look this thing over. It needs front brake rotors, and you said it's got an oil leak. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got an oil leak. All right. All right, so let's take a look down there. The bottom side of the upper timing cover is leaking some oil. It's not horrendous, but you definitely want to get that fixed before it starts soaking into the belts and causing other issues. Condensation in here. Where do you think that's coming from? I don't know. I couldn't. I have no idea how water is getting in this headlight. Don't know. All right, we decided to do another test just to get more pressure in the system because it was all leaking out from the intake. So we took the air box out, plugged it up, just so we can build more pressure in the system to see if there was any other leaks. And this one is leaking, got the tape off of it. And of course you guys have already seen that one. And we're just looking around to see if there's anything else. On the passenger side in here, you can see the, uh, shine your light on that back layer. Thanks. All right, so that is the line that comes over to the pressure sensor. And then from here, it goes back and then turns under the car. So the line actually runs, the line runs from here under the cowl between the top of the engine and transmission and back under the car. So to replace these lines, you have to lower the engine and transmission from the vehicle, take this cowling off, and the line runs under. There's, this is actually a common issue. And um, there's a company that makes a metal line, so we're just trying to figure out if that's the option we're going to go with and see if the customer wants to fix it, because it is a lot of labor. I mean, we're talking three days of labor, probably, to pull the thing out, get the lines put in, and put the engine and transmission back in the car. That's a Bentley for you. No leaks. Yeah, so what he's saying is there's a really common leak on that main line that runs back there and under the tunnel. So we were actually expecting that one to leak, but we're not seeing anything. Typically you'll see some smoke in here, but you guys saw where it's leaking from. Once the customer approves the job, we're also going to include that line because it is so common that we don't wanna, we don't wanna have this customer have the same problem, let's say a year from now, and then we gotta do this whole job all over again. In that case, he's just buying, what, the part, and we're gonna put it on while we have the transmission and engine down. Taking the Elite Mobile to go get some tacos for everybody. This road has been under construction for a really long time and it's really been hurting these guys' business. So I try to support them anytime I can. I'll tell you what, this taco truck, Fire Taco, freaking amazing. I just ordered 34 tacos. I think that should be enough. All right, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Have a good day. We're gonna need a bigger table. After dropping off the food, got some good news. We've been waiting on this for about two months. It's a mechatronics unit for an Audi RS7. It's been sitting here just, we, you can't drive it. It's just been sitting here. So I'm glad to finally get this part and get the customer back on the road. Can you get me five or four? Man. Eat the me. pepper. This one? Sure, I don't care. Okay. All right, it's your birthday. You gotta eat it. You gotta, eat it. You gotta put it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Cheers. Uh, not that bad, is it? Mm. So. We'll see. No, that was not that hot. Joe's gonna be gone for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> We called the customer, explained to him what needed to be done, drop the engine, transmission, the whole thing away from the car. Obviously, it's a very expensive repair. He's holding off on it for now. He's going to think about it, maybe bring it back a little bit later. But as you can see, we've got a whole shop full of work that we've got to do tomorrow. So we're going to get back to it tomorrow. Thanks for watching.